Welcome back to another episode of Wesley's Garage. And today we are not fixing or building anything. Today we are going to destroy some stuff. As you can see, we've got the uh, tarp put down here. Uh, this wood splitter, uh, I have always named Jaws, um, but I finally have taken the time to paint it up and uh, add a little humor to it. Uh, some quick information about Jaws. Uh, Jaws was found in a salvage yard Oh, about three years ago, give or take. Um, everything that's here, um, from the pump to the tank to the machine itself, um, was all in the same salvage yard but not assembled. This uh, hydraulic tank was off of somebody's home-built front-end loader. Uh, this pump was actually off of a three-point backhoe unit. Um, now, this is where the real magic is. So... This thing was rated to work an entire backhoe, so basically multiple cylinders. Um, whereas in this application, it's only got to work one cylinder. Um, it's also a gear increasing hydraulic pump. Um, so there's a bigger gear here and a smaller gear uh, where the pump is connected. So it kind of gives it some high speed so it works the ram fairly quick. And the actual three point log splitter itself um, I found on top of a pile of pallets and what looked to be the remains of a John Deere tractor of some sort. Now the main reason that this thing got the nickname Jaws from me um, is basically because whatever I have put in this splitter, it chops it. It doesn't care how knotted up, nasty, big, doesn't matter. Um, I've used the front end loader of another tractor just to put logs in it that I couldn't actually physically roll in myself in it and uh, it, it crushes them every time. But today we are not crushing logs. We are not splitting wood at all. Um, we are going to be busting up various electronics and other things. So starting off uh, fairly uh, kind of funny, uh, we're actually going to crush some fire logs like this thing would be making, except these are in the form of an already lit fireplace. Uh, we've got a couple of mirrors here. Uh, this one's not in bad shape. This one, I, uh, I stared at it too long. Uh, we've got a couple of weed eaters here. Um, I'm actually somewhat interested in the motors, maybe for like a future project. Uh, I'm not so much interested in the weed eating end. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do there. That should be fairly interesting. Up next, we've got a bunch of uh, iPhone boxes. Uh, I accidentally ordered the uh, phone I wanted 17 times too many. Uh, so these are all the boxes left over from that. Moving on down the line, we've got a live, laugh, love sign. I'm really debating on making this either the first or last thing that I crushed today. Uh, haven't totally made up my mind yet. Moving right along, we've got a uh, old AC motor. Uh, fairly, fairly sturdy, heavy uh, outside. I'm not sure how much damage we'll actually do to this. Um, this is just kind of a uh, experiment. I've never crushed anything like this. Uh, we've got a bowling trophy. We're looking to earn first place today. Moving on down, we've got a stereo from probably 1970-something. Plugged it in, doesn't work, no lights come on, nothing like that, so it's a goner. A little further down the line, we've got three VHS players. Uh, this one won't fast forward anymore, that one won't rewind anymore, and that one tore up my limited edition VHS copy of Finding Nemo, so it's dead. Coming down past the VHS players, we've got a uh, coffee machine with a fresh pot of coffee in it because I'm thoughtful like that for you guys, so please help yourself. And then moving a little further down, we've got uh, a bunch of random glass stuff. Now, I'm not going to be long and drawn out doing each one of these. I think we're going to do a little bit of a... Uh, do a little speed run action and just get through those really quick. Next up, we've got a pair of phones here. This one uh, I'm not too crazy about. This one is actually one of the uh, old rotary phones and has an actual bell in it. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been dis uh, Then we've got what I believe are bamboo blinds. Um, we're going to see just how many stacks of these we can uh, put through that thing. I doubt any of them are going to stop it, but once we crush one, we'll do two, and then five, and then 17, and then 100, and we'll see how far we get. A little further down, we've got a record player. Um, can't really tell you anything about this thing. It's got the radio option, too. Um, I didn't even check to see what was in it. The romantic world of Al Martino. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the record can stay there with it. Uh, then we've got a uh, coat hanger. Um, I need this to be about half the size it is now. And then coming around this way, we've got the good stuff. We've got two microwaves and two TVs. Um, just to make things interesting, I think we're going to do one of the microwaves first, and then we'll go through 
in the uh, the order that everything's in, and we'll uh, we'll end with the TVs. So, uh, which one should we do first? Let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, uh, that one. like seven or eight pieces of glass in there. Let's see if that can stop her. Non-folding stool. One of two weed eaters. Wait, hold up, that might hit my motor. That's better. Let's see how many iPhones it takes to uh, slow this thing down. Probably only will take like two of them. I don't think we'll get through more than two. survivors. All right, up next, it's Live, Laugh, Love. Check out the damage going on there. Up next is this thing. Well, as you can see, this thing so far is the only thing out of everything that survived. Um, this thing is showing absolutely no damage to, uh, wait, hold up. No, no, it got into it a little bit. All right. 
right, we got one of three VHS players. You guys are sure you don't want any coffee? I made it fresh like four days ago. All right. Oh, my coffee. I guess that wasn't glass. Let's see how many of these blinds it takes to stop that thing. I guess we answered the question, how many does it take to stop it? The answer is all of them. I think for the record player, we'll do it in the three pieces. The lid, the main machine, and then the vinyl. All right, so we got the slab cleaned up once again. I think what we're gonna do, TV, microwave, TV.
Next. thing. <laughs> 